Hi, this is Lachimikan Tiwari and welcome back to your new tutorial. So, in previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a switch and now in this one, I'm going to show you how you can create a checkboxes and uh, then how you can customize its color according to the material designing guidelines. So, here I have already created an example for you. In this example, you can see there is a checkbox and uh, by default there is orange color and if I check it and then the color is being changed here and then there is state is also being printed here in the form of the toast whenever the state of this checkbox is changing. Okay, now the checked and now it is unchecked okay so this is depend on you what type of action do you want to perform while it is checked and the unchecked and uh, I have already created a Android uh, uh, project here a new project so it's a material checked button so let's first start designing with the layout so you need to come here into activity main.xml file and uh, we do not need this text wave. We can get rid of this text wave and let's uh, add first our checkbox. Okay. So we need here app compact. Okay. We need here app compact checkbox. Okay. So app compact checkbox. Inside this checkbox, we want to make it wrap content and wrap content. Okay. And then Let's give a ID and uh, ID is checkbox underscore ID and uh, of course this is red. We need to do add the red plus ID then forward slash. And apart from the ID, I want to give the margin. However, uh, it's uh, you know uh, it is constant layout so we can do with the constant also that's not a big deal okay so this is in the middle now what I want to put put it here okay so let's put it here and apart from that I want to uh, make it as checked false okay so let's let me show you if checked true it is true okay and you can see here it is following default accent color but now I want to make it as a default state false okay and uh, I want to give some text to it so let's give a text to it as a checkbox one okay and uh, you can give a you can uh, put here as many checkbox you want but here I'm gonna put only one checkbox Okay, in fact, uh, if I copy it and paste it here, then you can also put more than one checkbox. Okay, and uh, this one ID, I'm gonna put checkbox 2 ID, and for this one, I'm gonna put checkbox 1 ID, right? So now let's move this one. And of course, for this one, I'm gonna put checkbox 2 ID, right? And I'm going to put this one here. And then what I can do, I can put this constraint here, this one here, or I can say it will be aligned with here. And then you can see like this one, okay? Perfect. So we have a checkbox one and the checkbox two with the two different ID. Now everything is fine. What we need to do one more thing here. We need to export a string resource. So that a string resource is here. Option and the enter extract a string resource. And uh, we need to also extract that a string resource from here. Option hit enter extract a string resource and command option L it will automatically reformat this code automatically. Now, uh, now let's run this application and uh, we will see what will happen. Okay. 
So let's run this application. As I have already shown you, when we check this checkbox, it is following default exit color. Okay. So if you want to change the default color, then we need to create a theme. Okay. I mean, we need to create a custom theme. For that, we need to go into the style.xml file. Okay. So before creating the new style, let's see what we have designed here. If I check it, checkbox 1, checkbox 2. So checkbox is different than radio button. Inside the radio button, you can select only one option. But in the checkbox, you can select as many as options you want here. Right? And you can also deselect. But you can see here nothing is happening while checking and unchecking of the checkbox because I have not added any um, state changed listener. And first I am going to change this default theme. For that, I need to open style.xml and the color.xml. So inside that style.xml, I need to create a new style. So let's open a style tag and name it as a, uh, what you can say, name it as a checkbox theme. Okay. And for this one, we want a color accent. Okay. So the first item is a color accent. Okay. So remove this Android. We don't want this Android and close this color accent. Right. This is about the color accent. That's mean we are going to change this color accent. Uh, and uh, then another one, we want color control normal. Okay. So we want here color control normal. Let's remove this Android. Now we are going to put here two different color. So the default color accent is this one, but let's put some other color while we check. So let's put deep orange. Okay. Uh, I think deep orange is not much different. Light blue color. Okay. So when we check, no, when we check, let's put a red color. Okay. So when we check, so let's put a red color and that we need to create here. Okay. So here colors checked. Okay. Has and then paste this new color. This is about the checked. I think there is not much difference. Uh, I need to put it into let's say the deep, deep red with 800 with 900 intensity. Okay, so let's put it into the deep red while it is checked. And uh, if it is unchecked, you can say the disable, right? So the color and uh, color disable, you can say. While it is disabled, we can say, let's say, we can, I mean, put any color, but I would like to put uh, here uh, uh, the gray color if it is disabled with 500 intensity. Okay. So this is disabled and here it is checked. Okay. Right, so we need to come here into the style, color accent. We want here color checked. And here we want it as a color disable. Now let's come back to the main activity.xml file. So inside this main activity.xml, we need to add this theme to both of the checkbox. Okay, so then write theme and then at the rate style forward slash and then you can say checkbox theme okay so let me see the name name must match okay so what I can oops it's checkbox I can copy it to verify it matches and the paste it here and then I need to copy this one and then paste it here and let's run this application then I'll show you okay
see here this is gray color right and if I check it now it is dark red uncheck check okay check uncheck check uncheck uncheck right perfect now let's move forward to add a on state change listener okay so on state change listener we can add in main activity dot java file so for that we need to first create the object for both of those checkboxes and those checkboxes are app compact checkbox type okay so app compact checkbox okay so the checkbox one and we have checkbox two here right and then we need to get the reference for both of checkboxes okay app compact checkbox find we by id r dot id and then checkbox one id and then we have checkbox 2 is equal to app compact checkbox and then find we by id r dot id dot checkbox 2 id right and then we want to set here checkbox 1 dot set on checked change listener and the new on checked change listener and then see here let's put this floating uh, boolean b as a state right and now we can add here a if statement if state is one then we can say uh, we can print a toast here and the toast shows that uh, let's say the checkbox one checked else else we again press uh, else we again show a toast here we can show a toast here checkbox one is unchecked right and uh, this would be same for both of the checkboxes so i can copy this for the checkbox one and then i can paste it here and then i can change it checkbox two dot set on checked change listener and then i need to change here checkbox 2 and checkbox 2 right I think now everything is same now let's run it and see what will happen now let's see into the emulator checkbox 1 checkbox 1 checked checkbox 2 checked checkbox 1 unchecked checkbox 2 also unchecked right so you can perform any action whatever you want while checking and unchecking these checkboxes and you can develop according to these uh, methods and designing guidelines uh, you, your application so this is all about this uh, material checked button designing and uh, subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox and i'm going to stop this here in the next tutorial i'll be covering radio buttons and grouped radio buttons bye bye have a nice day